let's explain relativity. What you know, it's um, uh, Einstein's interpretation of relativity to a bunch of people that consider themselves scientists who think my father and my family are a bunch of jerks. Because last night's dreams with Val, and it was very irritating. Okay, listen. Past, present, future operate at the same time. Okay. If your son, okay, or your brother was the Messiah and was in city, you got to see the, you know, the stuff that's melanoma. Yeah, it's probably cancer cells rapidly reproducing from the poison and the nerve damage in my legs. Yes. Okay. It affected me back when I was trying to get in shape with the, when the teeth rotted out and all this stuff. So it's, it's, what I go through, you know, and I, what I can survive, okay, better than other people, you know, because you think, look at Chadwick Boseman's body. Chadwick Boseman probably exacerbated the reproduction of cancer cells in his body trying to fight it, okay? I don't try to fight it. I, I survive until the conditions are eliminated, and then I recover, okay? I, I, I deal with cancer differently than most people. Cancer cells are the body, the, the body, the cells in the body trying to humanely shut down the body because it's being tortured, okay, through chemical poisoning, through stress, and all kinds of other extreme uh, conditions in our environment, okay. Why does it have, because you, you get people that get the super flesh from the this and the blah, blah, blah. Um, don't talk about celebrities that don't get cancer and die from it. They're sickos. Okay, they're, they're, they're aggressive, they're violent, they give themselves the best products and the best conditions to fuck in hell and say, we'll never have heaven because I'll always want to be the champion fucker in hell. That Don't talk about them. They, they don't, don't look at it like it's, it's not God, okay, taking care of them and intervening for their egos. It's them manipulating the environment and giving themselves a, uh, what's considered a more advantageous position to fuck in hell, Okay. Do you understand? I, I didn't misspeak with the good life. It's their perception of the good life that when I talked about Biden's kids. And when I said scripture in that earlier video, yes, scripture. Okay. It's in the book. You can read it. It's scripture. I'm the gospels. You go read your scripture. Okay. Listen to me. I'm the gospels. Your scripture was written by Constantine and Jerome, two mass murderers, and then translated by James another mass murderer to establish Bucking Fuckingham Palace. Shut up. I'm talking here. Okay. <laughs> so I'll clean you up. You know, I can, if you don't tell people that they're disgusting when they're behaving disgusting, you're doing them a disservice. Okay. They had, I was recording the Super Bowl stuff, sold Super Bowls, and they had it playing where they were showing um, Lawrence Taylor, right? And then Lawrence Taylor's little daughter, little baby girl crying because, you know, daddy's been all through this hell. He gets in trouble through doing stupid things because he's been encouraged to be stupid because he's a good athlete. And then they make lots of money off of good athletes. OK. And uh, he had him go into court because he had an underage prostitute like R. Kelly and all that stuff. And he says, well, you know, well, I don't take a thing. And the thing is, is when you have money, OK, as a value system. Um, you're going to have girls that will, you know, one, they want to have sex with celebrities. Two, they want money. And if you can get fucked a lot for lots of money to live a better life than girls that can't get fucked a lot, lots of money, that's a big dopamine rush, right? And so you that needs to be eliminated. We've already talked about this hundreds of times, about the, the guy who Muhammad had to cut his head off in Mecca. We've talked about this hundreds and hundreds of times. Okay, we don't need to repeat it anymore. That's why I'm not going back to Facebook. Because they're fucking arrogant, pretentious assholes. There's a huge catalog of me talking about this kind of stuff and them telling me you're going against our community policies. You are a bad, you speak bad in front of children. You speak bad in front of people. And it's like, you're a billionaire who home invades people to maintain the status quo for billionaires. You're the cause of sex crimes. You're the cause of rape. You're the cause of crime. Okay. People that use money to manipulate people with technology are the cause of crime and genocide. We all know this. This is two and two is four. Okay. Now, when you use your technology to verbally express the eternal thoughts okay, of someone like Malachi and Melchizedek and the Buddha and, and Judah Krishnamurti and myself, then you're not going to have economic conflict. Now, you might have situations where there's a guy 33 and there's a guy 13, a girl 13 that pursues him because she wants to have sex with him. 
And you're just going to have to tell them. Same thing I did. What the story of Nancy Quisada. Okay, when she was 15, Tree sent her into my room and she, she tried to engage me into having sex. And I said, no, I can't. Why? Because I'm 18 and you're 15. And, um, uh, you know, um, you know, my parents don't throw Patrick Colland in jail for having sex with my 15-year-old sister. But I can't be sure. I don't know your parents. I didn't say that, but I was just, no, you're too young and I can't, you know. Well, Patrick and Natalie do it. Yeah, but that's an entirely different matter. Your parents might be completely different. And then she came to the store where I was working when I was 21 and said, I turn 18 this week. I said, do you want to go out? And she said, no. So I made the right decision when I was 18. Okay. Because a girl who really loves you. Okay. Well, we don't have to have sex. We can just be friends. And then when we're, I turn 18, we can have sex. Do you see what I'm saying? Because of our society and what our society, what a woman can do to a man if she can't try to manipulate him with sex. Okay. Do you understand? Okay. So Michael Aquino and Antoine LaVey were some of the most gross and disgusting people in the world. And it was a reaction to religious hypocrisy through corporations, which are some of the most gross and disgusting people in the history of the world. We're all cognizant of this. This isn't like some kind of fucking mystery. But with my sister and my dad and my mother, my mother told me she was glad that she died before any of her children. She was glad she died so she didn't have to feel because she told me. Earl, I gave you a very special gift, but you're going to be very lonely. So she knew her son was going to be, she knew that she tried to talk me out of it my whole life. Earl, you can't do that. They'll kill you. Earl, you can't be this way. You'd be a religious self. Like she tried to talk me out of being the Messiah my whole life because she didn't want me to be tortured for being so. Okay, do you understand? I don't care about what my family, you're not the Messiah. Jesus is not a fucked up cartoon character from Constantine, Jerome, and King James in your head. You're just doing that to try to protect me from myself because you think I've got ego problems. But you think Jesus is a God in your head that's going to kill everybody that you don't like. And you vote for Donald Trump so you can lock Mexicans out, threaten people with nuclear weapons, and make America great by locking people out and threatening them with nuclear weapons if we can't dominate the prostitution market. And that's just insane. That's why I'm the Messiah, and the Jesus in your head is a product of corporate greed and genocide, okay? So you get, it's, it's obvious, okay? Anybody in their right mind realize, oh, I understand the meaning of the word Messiah now. It's obviously Parsons is, okay? If you were using the word Messiah from rabbinic religions, you would also look at uh, Judah Krishnamurti and say, yeah, definitely, okay? Hele Selah, say yes, okay? To Selassie, it was in a different situation than Krishnamurti. Krishnamurti, it was from philosophy of Buddhist religions of peace. And, and, and you get, the reason why the British went and got Krishnamurti to try to get him, the people to live uh, a kind of religion that they have in China and India is because they wanted to dominate their poor with oppression of getting them to have dreams of after dreams of home. I'm, I'm being obnoxious. Yes, because I'm really pissed off at the Marley side now. Because I love them and I expected a hell of a lot more out of them. Okay. A hell of a lot more out of them. But then when I look at the stuff with the movie and stuff with the Captain Marley and stuff the way he was. You know, just because how many of my relatives are like me? Just like me. How many of my relatives are just like me? Okay, do you understand? They try. Okay, because they have the Messiah in their family. It's subconscious recognition, past, present, future, operate at the same time. Okay. And so they try, but no, they, they always, you, what, I tell you, a prophet is a prophet except for in his own house and his own hometown. Okay. And the reason why is because people feel inadequate or ashamed or jealous because I wanted to be the guy who, who, who uh, you know, I want to be the guy who has Jesus come down from the clouds and save us all. Because we all have to be doing right according to the script. Don't pay attention to the script. Pay attention to the Gospels. The script was written by people that use um, genocidal uh, linguistics and call them laws. And they're not laws. Okay, they're not gravity or photosynthesis. And, um... Uh, well, we'll, you know, this technology, I hope it's not the technology having to get um, more reflective of me and better and then isolate, contain, and uh, eliminate those that need to be eliminated in military intel. I hope people can step up and go, hey, let's do the right thing because you really love your children. Okay. 
when we're all living the Lord's Prayer and, and Lawrence Taylor stands up for it, this daughter can cry real tears of joy because her dad will really love her and she'll really know what love is. Okay, guys, I love you. Peace.